dear all in our youtube channel alexis projects myself professor mohin shek and today we will see a new hardware model setup uh, title name is iot based smart agriculture monitoring system so hardware setup is as available on your screen okay first we will see the which uh, components are used in this model okay so first uh, we will see here uh, uh, we are providing 230 volt power supply for the water pump operation and you can see here is the plug to provide 230 volt power supply and it is connected to uh, this uh, connector white nut connector and the next component is we are using uh, here one uh, 230 volt relay to turn on and off the water pump okay and uh, this uh, wire is actually of a water pump wire okay so let's see here is you can see water pump is available the next inside. component uh, you can see here uh, one uh, ultrasonic sensor we are using here as you can see it is connected to tank and uh, it is responsible to measure the uh, water level available inside the tank okay and it is a wall support here uh, to measure the uh, soil temperature uh, and uh, sorry uh, temperature of surrounding and surrounding humidity we are using dst 11 sensor you can see here is uh, uh, we are using as the parent of the system esp uh, uh, 32 Okay, ESP32 you can see and it is responsible to handle entire operation like running entire module and sending the data to server and running this LCD and taking the data from sensor and sending the output to actuators. Okay, this uh, uh, module is responsible. You can see here is uh, we are using one large LCD 20 cross 4 LCD uh, with i 2 c converter backside available. Okay, and uh, this, this LCD is responsible to display all the parameters like temperature, humidity, pH, water pump condition, age and everything. Uh, we will see uh, data here. It's also a panel to measure the light intense intensity. As you know, uh, in agriculture sector, uh, light in intensity is also very important. Okay, as the uh, weather changes, uh, sunlight intensity changes. And to measure the sunlight intensity, we are using this small solar panel. Uh, you know it is rainy season so you can see uh, any time uh, rain can become so we are using this sensor to detect either rain is available or not okay you can see it is connected here and next component uh, we are using is a very important ps sensor okay it is actually the secretary to measure the ph and uh, ph sensor is available here uh, deep deep inside the soil okay can see it is actually analog type of ph sensor it, uh, it is actually very beneficial uh, it doesn't require any kind of chemical to measure the ph it directly gives the uh, ph readings okay live on the display i mean less than one second okay but, uh, we are using here is a uh, soil moisture sensor as you know uh, to know soil moisturity level is very important because uh, most of the uh, crops uh, require different different uh, la soil levels uh, sorry moisturity level so we are using uh, uh, this uh, soil moisture sensor to measure the soil moisturity level these are the all components and we are using one power supply here 5 volt adapter okay and it is connected to usb32 using the micro usb cable Uh, so now time to visit uh, IoT server. So for this we will use Chrome browser and we will type here Blink IoT or Blink uh, Cloud we can uh, see and uh, after search result uh, we can see uh, we have clicked on first link actually and uh, visit into the Blink IoT server and now we need to log in using the ID we have, we have provided to the student or you okay after entering the information now we will click on login After a successful uh, login, uh, IoT server information is opening and we can see dashboard here. After clicking on my devices, we will get a dashboard and after clicking on dashboard, we will see all the uh, widgets. As you can see on your screen, everything is ready. So let's uh, connect uh, to 30 volt uh, plug for the water pump operation. You can see here, uh, like this, and then we will plug this uh, 5 volt adapter to the power supply. After doing all the arrangements, now we need to connect the system to the Wi-Fi to use uh, IoT server functionality. So for this purpose, we will use this device, and uh, we are just uh, changing the hotspot settings. Okay. So as you can see we need to change the hotspot name and password as provided by our uh, uh, trainers so then you can uh, connect to your project 
to the IOT server as you can see. So after entering the username and password, we are turning on the hotspot to connect to the system to the Wi-Fi. You can also use uh, residential routers for this operation. So let's uh, time to turn on and see how it uh, works. So using this switch, we will provide to the dual power to both uh, plug and adapter. Okay, so in this way we will turn on, and you can see our model is turning on, and you can see name of project is appearing and then after we can see all the parameters you can see it is actually moisture okay moisture it is around 90 percent because the sensor is inside the soil and soil is uh, wet okay and you can see a light is zero because uh, we are uh, testing this model inside the room okay and it responds only on sunlight uh, properly and it is a tank level as the tank uh, tank sensor tank level sensor or water level sensor is available on the tank that's why it is showing 25 okay tank level and it is actually uh, power of hydrogen means pH okay and we, then we can see here it, it is humidity 31% and it is temperature uh, 30 degrees Celsius okay and uh, here the pump condition pump is currently off as you can see pump is off there is no action okay and then we can see uh, it is showing no rain okay means uh, rain is not, uh, not available now means uh, there is no raining okay so one by one we will uh, test each and every parameters so and uh, you can see uh, here a uh, live IoT server you can see okay a large screen uh, is available for us and using this mouse we will uh, uh, scroll it uh, according to our purpose so you can see here uh, two parameters you can see it is uh, it is colorless means there is no rain available and it is pump indicator it is rain indicator okay so uh, and all at the same time you can see all the ratings on the panel you can see humidity is 31 percent here is the humidity okay and here is the reading of humidity because the humidity is constant that's why graph is constant showing here and we can also cross check it see humidity is 32 percent and then we will see temperature temperature is currently 30 percent so we can see here temperature uh, uh, see here is the temperature okay temperature is 30 percent and temperature is also constant that's why here is the graph is constant straight line okay Currently rain is not available, water uh, that's why you can see no rain. Okay, and also see it is colorless means it is uh, no rain and uh, you can see pump is off. It is colorless means pump is off. You can see pump uh, status, pump is off. Okay. So uh, using this uh, uh, cloth we will uh, test uh, the rain sensor, we will dip it inside the water a little, you can see and then uh, as you know it is uh, dry so we will place it on the range sensor to see see you can see because the uh, cloth is on the sensor so there is a water available okay it means raining so you can see rain indicator is uh, green it is showing the rain is available you can see rain is showing yes okay because uh, uh, we placed a uh, dry uh, cloth here and we will remove it okay and we will wipe it so that uh, we can demonstrate that the rain is available or not. Now we will see. See, rain is uh, showing no. At the same time, you can see on server it is showing no rain. Okay, again we will test using this uh, uh, wet cloth. See. Okay, it is raining. Again we will remove. Okay, not uh, detecting because uh, there is uh, still a uh, drop of water here. So we will wipe it. in this uh, cloth we will wipe it so that uh, there should be no water see no rain okay you can see no rain and the next sensor we will test uh, PS sensor uh, you can see PS sensor is already drips inside the uh, soil we will uh, uh, disturb it a little so that we can get a uh, different readings we will uh, first uh, uh, provide a little water to soil and then we will uh, remove it and again we will place it see reading a little has changed a little now it is showing 5.8 okay and uh, at the same time you can see uh, here is the ph level okay ph level you can see 5.26 it is showing same as lcd is showing and you can see uh, we have disturbed this, uh, the sensor so that uh, 
we are getting different reading now okay here is the uh, so moisture of your ph 5.3 to uh, 5.2 okay you can see okay it is, it is actually in the range of 5 so you can see there is the reading okay and next uh, we will see uh, now we will test the uh, the tank height okay currently tank height is 22 percent you can see tank height is currently 22 percent okay so uh, using this tub we will uh, uh, dip the, some amount of water inside the tank so that we will see either the reading is changing or not okay okay remember uh, older height is older tank level height is 22 percent and after uh, uh, providing the water we will see what is the new readings so you see current tank level is 41 percent okay uh, it is a uh, flood floating a little because the water surface is not constant here you can see that's why it is uh, showing random reading uh, 42 percent 43 percent but reading is around uh, 45 percent or 44 percent you can consider and at the same time you will see uh, you can see so on the server live tank height is 43 see previous height was you can see here previous previous height was 22 percent now you can see the graph is increased here okay because we have increased the graph Okay, 43 percent and again 44 percent again we will uh, provide a little water to the tank so that we will see tank level is increasing or not see tank level is currently now 53 percent and it is uh, floating a little because tank surface uh, uh, water surface is not constant now as you can understand okay but uh, level has increased and at the same time we will see on server live see 54 percent and you can again see the graph see graph here previous reading was 40 percent now it is 54 percent okay so it means uh, our tank level sensor is assuming so fine now we will test uh, the temperature and humidity sensor so as you can see Currently temperature is 32 percent and humidity is 30 percent and here is the sensor and using this uh, uh, air, uh, air blower we will uh, test our sensor artificially okay as you know we cannot change with the temperature by our hand but using this uh, blower we can provide artificial uh, hot air okay so we will turn it on so it is on now providing a little heat you can see temperature is currently now 43 and uh, you can also see a uh, vice versa humidity is decreasing because okay and temperature is increasing as uh, naturally happens okay so you can see uh, by providing the artificial uh, hot air our weather has changed and you can see live on server see uh, here is the humidity humidity is around 22 percent and temperature is around 40 watts percent okay you can see humidity is decreasing here in the graph see in the graph it is a green humidity decreased okay here and here is the temperature temperature has rises see on green color okay as you can see uh, temperature is reduced because we have stopped applying hot airs okay okay so now time to test uh, our uh, most important uh, automatic water pump and soil moisture sensor performance okay so you can see currently soil moisture is uh, around uh, 75 or 74 you can see and currently pump is off okay you can see here and also here on iot server pump is off and you can see here so pump is off so let's uh, uh, remember when uh, soil moisture level will reduce to 30 percent okay then uh, automatically pump will turn on and the water pump will push the uh, moisture level above 70 or 75 percent then automatically pump will turn off okay so uh, as you know here you can see uh, sensor is inside the soil okay we will remove it to reduce the soil moisture level so consider soil has a uh, uh, soil has no water so uh, consider okay so you can see uh, sensor is outside okay 
so you can see pump is on okay at the same time you can see see here pump is on okay water is flowing uh, around the tank surface and you can see pump is on here okay see moisture level is moisture level is zero okay as you as you know because sensor is outside of the moisture uh, soil okay so again we will dip it inside the soil okay see 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 because of the wet soil you can see moisture level is uh, greater than 70% and you can see pump has turned off see there is no water flow now you can see there is no water flow okay and pump is off and uh, you can see sensor is all inside the soil and you can see here pump is off okay again we will uh, remove the sensor see pump has turned on okay pump is on and moisture level is zero you can see pump is on okay at the same time pump is on again we will dip it inside the soil Has turned off. Okay, and you can see here. So now time to test our light sensor. Last sensor remaining light sensor. So using any light source, we will test the system. Okay, so we will use the mobile phone flash. Okay, and we will place it, and we will get a little reading. You can see light is around three percent, nine percent. You can see. See LGT here. Light uh, reading us are here. So you can consider. See light uh, readings are varying. Again, I remove it. Okay, so you can see it is zero. Okay, and again I will place it. Okay, so it is uh, showing around fourteen or fifteen because it is not a sunlight. It is actually a uh, flashlight mobile phone. Okay, at the same time you can see uh, uh, sunlight. See here. Currently, it is zero. See, it is zero. Okay, again we will place it. Okay, it is eighteen. Okay, you can see on uh, IoT server in black. Okay, here. See, I will place a mobile phone on the kit. See, 15%. Okay, I remove it. Then I place it up phone on the sensor. Okay, so you can see it is also working so fine. It means all model is working very very nice. Uh, there is no any problem. Okay, if any student want to purchase uh, this model, please go to video description and uh, get the WhatsApp number, uh, our email address, and contact us uh, for, uh, for to buy documents or this model. Thank you so much for watching the video. Take care.